another installment of for women's only videos. This one is going to be women basics for women's gun basics, basically. Um, so here we go. You're into guns and you've decided decided to buy your first gun, your first handgun. Very good, ladies. Um, where do you go and where do you start in this process? I have about four tips I'm going to share with you and hope it'll make you a little bit easier and less boring, less stressing out. Tip one. Decide what you want for your first handgun. Is it going to be for your home defense? Is it going to be for eventually so you can get your CCW? What's it going to be? There's a lot of options on everything from 22s, everything in between to uh, 45. Do some research on all the calibers, watch some YouTube videos, go talk to women and see what they decide and see what they shoot. Most importantly, go to a range with an instructor and try all the calibers that you can and all the different other handguns that's out there and see what you prefer. You don't want a gun that's going to be too big to carry and it's going to be too too heavy and too big to carry and also um, to make for your hands. Tip two. There are two different types of guns. There is a revolver and an automatic. Some women have a problem racking the slide. I'll show you what that is. You take the mag out. This is racking the slide. Back and forth like that. That's racking. Some women can't do that. I used to not be able to do that. Um, to me, I just think it was just the gun manufacturer itself that couldn't do it. Some guns I can, some guns I can't. It really just depends on what you can and cannot do on the different kinds of guns. Um, and that's why also some people go to a revolver other than an automatic. Try both and see which just fits you and your personality better. The higher caliber will also have more recoil in it. So you may also like one well, of the guns that have less recoil, so you may go for like the 22 or something like that. Once you've gotten the caliber and the gun that you want and you've gotten home, where do you go from here? Tip three. Once you've gotten home, you want to familiarize yourself with your gun by taking it apart and cleaning it. Later, I'll be putting up a video on how to take apart my Beretta Nano 9mm and my XDS 45. And I'll put them down in the description box once I upload them, and I'll let you all know. Tip number four. Before you go shooting again, you will need ear and eye protection. And I've got a few different examples to show you. Here is some eye protection. But I don't really need them because I've got these. Here is some foam ones that you can just stick in your ears. I've also got some silicone ones that I really like. Not my favorite, but I have a few pair of different ones. And you've got your big earmuffs, too, that you can use. Which are pretty much my favorite if I'm not out skeet shooting. So, there's the different examples of those. Um, and if your gun comes with a holster, you may want to use that holster either for home defense use or you uh, eventually use it for concealed carry. But if you don't like those, there are tons of holsters out there made for women, by women. There's cheap ones, there are expensive ones, just depending on really what you want to pay. There are in the waistband holsters, outside of the waistband holsters, there's pocket holsters for pocket guns, there's leather holsters, Kydex holsters, holsters, and so many more. Um, never point your gun this is pretty much the last thing. Never point your gun that you're not prepared. Never point your gun at something you're not prepared to shoot. Never look down on the barrel of a gun. And last but not least, safety, 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 fun, fun, fun. So, hope this helps.